What is up guys, welcome to Zero Nation for a brand new video for you guys, here we are doing a brand new reaction, haven't done one of these in a long time, but a lot of people actually request me to do this one, uh, since I love the Uncharted games, I played every one, one through four, and I've heard a lot of good stuff about this one, um, so this is the Uncharted live action fan film 2018 with Nathan Fillion. I'm pretty hyped. I heard a lot of good stuff about this, and so I'm very excited to watch this and see what it is. We're going to read over here. The following is intended for entertainment purposes only, and is not endorsed by or associated with Sony, Naughty Dog, or any of their affiliated companies. Okay, because this is a fan project, so they had to they had to put it out there. This isn't for, uh, you know, selling purposes or anything like that. Let's get, let's get to it. I'm pretty hyped. Pretty excited, you guys. Got scooted. Scoot the shit out of the jungle tree. Ooh! This is gonna be good. The soundtrack already. I'm already listening to the soundtrack, dude. Okay, we got the, the rich guy over here. Is that Nathan? Yeah, that's Nathan. I know what he's wearing in the back. That's Nathan. That's the dead giveaway right there. Dead giveaway. Lo agarramos yendo la frontera. Did you get it? No. This is all he had on him. They're looking for the artifact, you guys. Hmm. They're charging five right here. I like how the story's original too. This isn't based off of any of the games. It's like its own separate thing. Batman actually looks like Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. In the flesh. Legendary treasure hunter. Explorer. Historian. Thief. Whoa, hey. I think you have me confused with somebody else, pal. The man responsible for finding El Dorado, Corvera, and Shambhala. They're naming oh, the past. Then, yes, okay, then, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Last night, an antiquities collector held a private auction in La Paz. This man's voice is deep. A rare item of great value was stolen. An item my employee rightfully purchased. So imagine my surprise when I find out that Nathan Drake is in town. <laughs> Sounds like quite a coincidence. <laughs> That's it. Dude, this guy's spot on as dream. Tell me. What exactly is this? That is a compass. Perhaps we can use it to find this fellow a haircut that didn't go out in the 90s. Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> oh, where is it? Look, I don't know what it is you're looking for, but I don't have it. My employer is not a man you want to cross. You've already made him quite angry. I do tend to have that effect on people. Let's try this once more, shall we? Before I violently remove something you care deeply about. So, does that mean if I care deeply about you, you'll leave? 
<laughs> okay. Okay. We'll see how cooperative you are after a little time with El Tigre. El Tigre. El <laughs> Tigre. You getting all this? Oh, yeah. It's all me. Clear, kid. Yo! Oh, my God. Dude, this is honestly looking like the best video game live action based thing I've ever seen. Spot on with the cutest for the cigar and everything. Let's keep those guys busy a little longer. Easy for you to say. You're not about to get your finger removed from some fella named El Tigre. Well, I'm not sure that's the body part they're thinking of removing. Is that El Tigre? Oh, snap, dude. Oh, that's El Tigre? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, guys. Oh <laughs> Seriously, that's you guys. You got me. You got me. I was well presented. I was scared. Have fun. Hey there, little guy. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> oh, he's got the brass knuckles. Oh crap. Southeast corner. Tigre. Lucia. Algo no está bien. Something's not right, he said. Yo, they even get the fighting spot on. This is Uncharted 3 fighting right here. Oh, dang! Oh, dang! The classic, the classic shame. Legit knocked out three guys. <laughs> Classic Nathan. Hey. hey, you good? Oh yeah. Ever better. Well, it doesn't look like they're on to you yet, so just get moving. They seem pretty pissed about the bracelet. Yeah, I should have told them you have it. My face wouldn't be as sore. Keep it in nice and warm for me? Oh yeah. Nice and toasty. Okay, hey, from let's put a damper on things, but what happens if those letters aren't there? Chloe said the intel is solid. Got paid top dollar for him. Yeah, he paid they top dollar for security, on too. Joe. Oh my god. I'm telling you, man, this is the best. The lighting in the, in the smokes. Oh okay, my god. I mean, You really need to check out this room. 
Yeah, maybe on the next door. Hurry up, will you? Those guys are gonna be on to you in a minute. Huh, here we go. Alfonso Albuquerque's letters. Ooh. The puzzle from... This guy's not messing around. He's got original copies digging back to the conquest of Malarca. Here we go. October 1511. That's right before they sailed back to Portugal on the Florida de Lamar. Which is now sitting at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. I'm telling you, Nate, it's wild goose. Yeah, wild goose worth two billion. The most valuable lost treasure in human history. Wait a minute. He's got a whole stack of letters from Ferdinand Magellan to Albuquerque. Earliest one is dated just a few weeks after the floor sank. So? Malaysia, so, Magellan Portugal. served under Albuquerque during the conquest, but history tells us that's the last they saw of each other. Unless... Holy shit, Sully, do you know what this means? Kid, whenever you start doing this, nobody knows what you mean. Looks like it's gonna have to wait. They found your friends. Get the hell out of there. find myself amazed oh that you two are incapable gosh. of returning these things the way you found them. Ah, we got the insurance. You did get the insurance, right? I thought you did. Right. Mm. As promised. Wow. Right. So, we're gonna break this open. I feel like we're always breaking things open. How about I hang on to that? Hey, did you see this? Symbol to an exclude. Well, I'll be go to hell. A triangle? Not just a triangle, it's a trinity. A trinity, oh my god, of course. When the Floor de Lamar sank, it took 400 people down with it, but not Albuquerque. He was rescued by another ship called the Trindage. Portuguese for Trinity. Exactly. Now, history is spotty on who captained it, but there was another ship called the Trinidad, a Spanish flagship, famous for having been the first to sail around the world. Magellan. Holy shit. Magellan captained the rescue ship. Would you look at that? Could those be coordinates? Only one way to find out, hey! 
It never made any sense. Why would Albuquerque, considered to be one of the most brilliant military minds in history, put his treasure on the floor de la Mar, a ship that had proven itself time and time again to be unseaworthy? What if the reason no one has found the treasure of the floor de la Mar is because the treasure was never on it? It was on the Trindage. Exactly. It never sank. And Magellan and Albuquerque both knew it. So what's this then? Our next stop. Well, I understand the weather in the Philippines is particularly fine this time of year. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh, dude. I am a loss of words, okay? First of all, the fact that this was made by fans, fans, and something like Hollywood can't even do something like this. Like, okay, I'm not, I'm not like, like, uh, what's it called? I'm not bashing on Hollywood or anything, but usually we all know when there's a live action video game movie, it usually doesn't quite capture what that IP or what that property is. With this, the fact that fans made it seem like the video game so much is, it's just insane. Like, the camera especially, dude, when it turned into third person, I lost it because, like, that's how, that's how, like, movies inspired by video games should be. Like, it should be like that. Like, it should be to where it's really, um, I don't want to say like it copies it, but it should be really inspired by it, like this is. And the fact that this has an original story too just goes to show how much effort and work was put into this. And I honestly thank the fans for making this because it might even open the eyes of like people like, um, you know, like not Naughty Dog because I'm Naughty Dog's probably not really responsible for making movies that much, but it might open the eyes of Hollywood into like how do they make their uh, video game based films in the future, you know, so And like especially the director man like Whoever directed this Alan Ungar, you're a genius man like you deserve more credit than you deserve <laughs> That you get you deserve more credit than you should get. I love to be part of a project like this to be honest I make short films and seeing this Just goes, just goes to show how much effort was put into it because I know how much effort something like this needs to be put into it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of filming and re-edits and like revising all that stuff you gotta get the lighting right you gotta get the sound right you gotta get the fighting and combat right the camera angles all that but yeah um i'm just going behind the scenes perspective but in terms of the actual film itself it's it's beautiful i love this one of the best things i've ever seen uh like I said, I'd love to make something like this or be part of something like this. If I could have been like an extra or something, that would have been great. <laughs> but yeah, uh, saying that, what, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think it was on par with how the game, how the video game franchise is, or if it needs some improvements, stuff like that? Just let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. Click that bell for notifications. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Right? Peace out. Take a body's high